Nothing I want you all the time now I can tell you never feel the same now And no one was waiting for your call, but I don't know you don't want me sometimes, so oh. I'm gonna run you out many years But you're always ignoring them I know that you are thinking of me You can know why that you like me It is sweet, very sweet, that's good. I think it's kind of like bean paste. Say hi to my temple. <laughs> We're basically in a cafe right next to a hotel. I think we're very, very lucky with our location. And we also found like a supermarket right next to our hotel. It's actually afternoon, but we make it a little, let's call it brunch. <laughs> with like, I know, it's like almond pastry. I think it's very good, but very sweet morning. And I got a large cappuccino. I'm so happy. It's all I want. I want a coffee. So finally I got my coffee while traveling. <laughs> got my happy end, finally, yay. It's all I want. Hey guys, happy new year. It's the new year it's 2022 like 2022 i hope you all had a great new year's eve fun safe and sound me and my friend were at the eiffel tower it was really nice it was so crowded it was so super crowded but for real i would like to my friend i mean do you think there are gonna be a lot of people and when we went there there were so many people like so many then i was like okay got it it was so stupid to even question if there would be a lot of people they were. They freaking were. We basically just found a nice little spot. Can't even remember if I filmed anything. Like, I think I filmed for Instagram. It was beautiful. There were still people who, like, shot fireworks. It was super crowded. And it was so funny. Like, we decided not to go to the platform. And we were standing there. And another couple, like, sat next to us. Asked, is it okay if you sit there? We were like, yeah, sure, it's okay. And then it hit midnight. And then afterwards, my friend was like, do you think there are some people who like got engaged right now? Because I mean at the Eiffel Tower and the guy next to us with his girlfriend were like, uh, yeah, we just got engaged right now next to you. And we were like, what the fuck? How? Like we missed it. We didn't even realize it. I heard like bits of pieces that the guy was a little bit like very emotional, but and then she was like, yeah, we're engaged. And I'm like, what the flip? The people right next to us like got engaged. And we were like, my friend was like, do you think someone is getting engaged? Yeah. The people right next to us it was so funny and then my friend took some pictures of them this was so funny like how big are your chances i mean that you get engaged at the eiffel tower yes but right next to us when we are questioning it yesterday we went to a restaurant which was like seafood based and it was nice i had like my first lobster it was fine i think i prefer shrimps though i think my taste buds are not used to high quality food <laughs> but it was still good the restaurant was so pretty like the lights on the ceiling i was so impressed and the funny thing is like in paris they said from 5 p.m till 2 in the morning you can drive with the metro and with the train for free which was amazing so we could take the metro but at some hour like i think even at 7 or 8 they started closing the metros at one point probably that not all people drive to the same bot maybe for corona reasons then our restaurant was a short way the metro but if you had to walk it took like forever so we had to walk so long to find a metro oh my god shout out to the old guy to the old man he will never see this but i hope he just knows in his heart how much we appreciate him for some stupid reason my friend does not have internet right now except for when we have like wi-fi at the hotel so we were depending on my phone and i don't know what the fuck is wrong with my phone at the moment because the battery is dying so fast and i forgot to bring power back and if you're filming with your phone and if you're like looking for locations it drains so much of your battery we had to look that it doesn't that my battery doesn't die so fast and then we were looking at this map to find the way and there was this old man who saw that we were like struggling he was like where do you want to go and my friend was pointing at the place and he was just like didn't even speak english and he just, was just like yeah come on come on pointing us, just come with me and he was walking very fast so we were like okay sure we're just gonna go with you we just 
just did what he told us and it was so nice like he saw that we were struggling and he offered us some help it was just so nice i was like oh my god props to you arrived at the restaurant and we were so late the reservation was at 7 30 but we were so late we called and told them that we we're gonna arrive there at 8 we arrived there at 8 10 and the funny thing was our reservation was at already 7 not 7 30 but 7 so we were like over an hour late but yeah they still got us a table which was very nice so that's that and yeah then we wanted to go to the Eiffel Tower because there were no fireworks unfortunately at the Arc de Triomphe so we took the train and went to the Eiffel Tower and it was like it says so crowded after that we cheers to each other with some little bottles of sparkling water and then I was like I was already tired like we were sitting there for one and a half hours to just waiting for it to get midnight so we waited there started to get midnight it was midnight it was the new year oh yeah 2022 so and after that I was super tired so I was like yeah let's go home I went to the direction like we came from to the train after we walked a lot my friend was like where are you heading and I was like to the train and my friend was like do you know that the way we came from was from the restaurant and not our hotel and I was like dang it I didn't think about that I was like why didn't you tell me earlier and I was like I'm sorry so we said okay let's try to go to the metro and oh my gosh I'm telling you it was like so full like there were so many people trying to get into the metro even jumping over the fences and i was like nope we're not gonna do this so we said okay you know what let's go let's walk right back and the thing is like if we had walked on the other direction at the eiffel tower like at the back where the platform is we would have been so much faster and i'm so mad and myself obviously and the thing is my battery died my friend didn't have wi-fi the only thing my friend did was being offline at google maps my friend just navigated us through the streets reading the card and i was like tagging along i'm like i'm so tired i cannot even i don't know if i could read this like i would maybe i could but i was just depending on my friend and i'm so thankful so and there was no way calling an uber or a cab because it was so crowded like i think we would have been stuck in traffic till next morning at some point we were walking and we were behind the platform which we could have been so much earlier if i didn't go the wrong way in the end we made it finally got back to our hotel i was dead and gone my legs were so dead like i took off my boots which had a little heel like they're the most comfortable boots on earth but i wore them for so long and walked so long in them there was like i need to get rid of them and that was how i celebrated new year's eve i still enjoyed every second of it and today we went out and got some coffee I finally had a coffee happy ending like the last time in Paris I didn't got my coffee then in Berlin I didn't got my coffee but this time I got my coffee because there was a bakery like right next to a hotel like I think that it was a cute little bakery we're gonna go out for afternoon snacky snack it's not gonna be very fancy it's probably going to be McDonald's so McDonald's here we come Woo! <laughs> with the food it was really fast and we had a chance like to sit on a bench where you can look outside which was pretty nice actually we came back to the hotel and took a nap again i know you're probably not taking like full advantage of this weekend trip but we were just so tired like yesterday was so tiring so we took a nap and now we got ready 
And now we're going back to the Eiffel Tower to take some nice pictures. Hopefully, pretty late though, like it's already nine-ish. Also, like the Eiffel Tower is not that far away from our hotel, unless you like walk to the wrong direction. And then we're gonna eat maybe a little bit. I ate some cookies we bought, which was not the best idea because now I feel like so stuffed from not a real meal which I should quit doing, but I couldn't resist. Actually, we're together here, like with my friend, and booked a room for two, but guess what? We're three now, because how the hell did I get this stupid ass pimple? Like, last time I got one here, and now I got one here. What's with my right cheek? Like, I don't know, and it's bothering me so much. Why are you here, huh? You're not even paying rent. I didn't order you to be there. And he snuggled himself in. Like, we're just paying for a room for two, not for freaking three, so get lost. I think eating those co sugary cookies and McDonald's didn't really help reducing like the pimple. Been and done, so yeah. Now I'm gonna take some hopefully cute ass pictures with blue pimple. So let's go. <laughs> just came back from taking pictures at the Eiffel Tower and I think we got some pretty good ones. I am satisfied <laughs> and actually we wanted to go to eat something but I don't know where we should go because I think a lot of places are closed now because it's like midnight. Maybe we're just gonna go for drinks, not eat something. Well, I don't know if I want to eat something, but yeah, I think maybe it's drinks for me, but we don't know where to go. Yeah, I think we're just gonna roll around like always and try to find a nice little restaurant to grab something to drink. So let's go. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her There must be something about her features You'll find the beauty goes much deeper It's very good You see her walking down the Good morning you guys It is me and my pimple Actually, the last day that we're staying here, we have to check out in like an hour. We're probably just gonna go to the cafe we went to yesterday. We had a great time. I just don't, I don't even want to leave because I'm just too lazy to travel with so much baggage right now. But I gotta work it Monday again, so I have to go. We're super hungry. I cannot wait to have a coffee again. Like everything is so amazing if you have some coffee. Like I really want to buy that um, almond pastry again. It was so good. I hope that they have it again i hope that's their specialty and not just a new year's thing probably should have it i guess right that's the end of the trip let's get some coffee and let's head home i'd say Say a drunk mind, speak sober, that's so baby, what are you saying? Can 